four out of the five costliest hurricanes to make landfall in the U.S. hit in the last 10 years. At number five, Hurricane Ivan. Its price tag, nearly $20 billion. Hurricane Ivan devastated parts of southern Alabama and the Florida Panhandle and right along the state line in Orange Beach in Alabama. There were two five-story condominiums built with steel-reinforced concrete. They collapsed in the 14-foot storm surge. Wilma in 2005 comes in at number four at almost $21 billion in damage. Hurricane Wilma brought some of the worst storm surge flooding to the Florida Keys that we've seen in over the past 50 years. Number three, Hurricane Ike doing nearly $28 billion in damage in 2008. Hurricane Ike, which made landfall in 2008 near Galveston, Texas, nearly wiped out the Bolivar Peninsula with its storm surge. At number two, more than 20 years have passed since Andrew hit South Florida, but the Category 5 monster chalked up a $45 billion repair bill. Andrew is the only Category 5 hurricane to hit a major metropolitan area in the United States. Thankfully, it didn't hit downtown Miami, but it did hit enough of the suburbs that you had to this densely populated section that got just mauled by a giant tornado, essentially. And the costliest hurricane to hit the U.S.? Katrina, at a whopping $108 billion. For years and years, we had talked about a hurricane coming up and pushing water into Lake Pontchartrain and flooding the bowl that is New Orleans. And then the levee failed. It wasn't the hurricane, it was the engineering failure that did it. Hurricane Betsy deserves an honorable mention. It was the first billion dollar hurricane striking the Louisiana Gulf Coast in 1965. I'm meteorologist Mike Bettis.